Today's video was brought to you by Newton Said. They'll buy your device for a very nice price. Alright, hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to enable your 3GS to record in 720p. You're going to need a couple programs for this. If you're on Windows, you're going to need a file, a SH, um, SSH transfer program. I'm using CyberDuck because I'm on a Mac. Um, and if you're on a Mac, you can use CyberDuck. Um, you're also going to need your iPhone 3GS. Just to prove to you that it's a 3GS, let's open it up. Doing multitasking. Um, what else? You are going to oh, you're going to need a couple a couple files. You're going to need this file right here. HD video 3GS rev dot zip, and you're going to need to file this video to the detail. So the first thing you're going to want to do is. And you're going to want to install OpenSSH on your device. I'll show you how to do that real quick. Turn your device on. Make sure you're connected to wireless. Scroll over to Cydia. Open up Cydia. Wait for it to finish loading. Scroll down. Open SSH access how to. You're going to want to go to Open SSH. Up here where mine says modify is going to hit install. You're gonna hit install and then hit install again. Once you've done that, let it reboot or let it respring, whatever your device asks you to do, and then turn on your iPod again or iPhone 3GS. All right. Next step, you're gonna to want to open up CyberDuck. You're going to want to go up to this connection right up here. I'm sorry, open connection. Over to. SSH transfer protocol protocol you are going to type in the server your server is your IP address on your iPod iPhone how you figure that out you go to general down to sorry not general you go to Wi-Fi click on the blue arrow you get 1.92 so you're gonna want to type it in 192 dot one six eight dot one dot one oh one all right down here you're gonna want to put in the password the password standard that comes with it is root this for the username and alpine is the password hit connect all right there we go so as you can see we're now connected to the iphone I have written down on steps because I'm too lazy to print it out. Steps. What the sir, blah, blah, the split the blah, the space you're gonna want to go to. So as we have over here, this is where we're gonna want to go. But for now, we're, we're we're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna go down to the file that we downloaded earlier, and we're going to unzip it. Just double click on it. And we will be greeted with a file. Double click on it. All right, hey guys. So I opened it up. And I couldn't find the NHA, the, the one of the main files. So I, read, I downloaded it off the internet though. So it's right there. And I will upload this version to the internet. All right. All right, hey guys. So as you can see, I'm at N88 framework. You're gonna want to go. I'll show you how to get there. Let's just minimize it. You go to system. Then we're going to library. And then we're going to scroll down to Core Services. Right here. Alright, sorry I wasn't zoomed in. Core Services. Then we're going to Springboard. Dot app. Slash, we'll just push it down. And that's what you're going to see. You're going to want to drag your N8PPP, N8, that file right there, to Springboard. To Springboard, copy it over. Over here, I'm gonna hit Allow. Hit Continue. 
All right. Now we're gonna exit out that, but keep stabby duck open. And the next place we're gonna go is we're gonna minimize core services, and we are going down to framework, Pri uh, private framework. So we minimize N88 because that's where we're gonna go. So as you can see, I've already gone there, but just to show you guys how to get there, you're gonna go down to private framework. Scroll down to Celestial.Framework, so right here, click on it, and then we're going to scroll down to N88. N88, right here, right, click on it, you're going to double click HD, select all these files, let's drag this down a little bit, and you're just going to copy these up, hit always. And hit continue. This is going to overwrite. Hit OK. And then we're going to exit out. Exit out of this. Um, exit out of that. And the next step is going to rebooting your phone. So simple reboot. Hold on to power and home button. Just keep holding it until it shuts off and it turns back on. Alright, so it's reset, and I will come back when it is done rebooting. Alright, hey guys, so at this point, your device should be turned back on. Let me bring it over here so I have better lighting. Here's your device. And there's your camera, you're going to want to click on your camera. Oops, sorry guys. Showing you guys that there's no extra files. Go over to camera. Oops, I didn't mean to take a picture. And now, unplug it. We have high def video cam quality. Alright, hey guys. So I'm just at this part showing you how the radio, video quality is. Um, I forgot to edit in a part of the video, so I'm just doing a quick voiceover. Um, you didn't miss anything. Um, just stay tuned for like the last part because I'm going to show you that the dimensions are in fact going to be high def. So that's pretty much it. Um, stay tuned as if you're watching it, you're just seeing me show you the video. So stay tuned and peace. All right, hey guys. So I got the the, 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 the movie transferred over from uh, just using iMovie, and just to show you guys it is in fact 1080. I mean high def. Go over here, and as you can see, the dimensions are now 800 by 1080. So, just a little proof that it in fact did work, and that's pretty much it. So, guys, for Apple Fanatic, this is me saying peace and have fun with the new high def camera.